Castro's visit to Jamaica has rekindled the political turmoil which last year racked this island nation. The debate is over the leadership of Prime Minister Michael Manley and whether or not he is leading Jamaica toward communism. Manley, who is Castro's closest ally in the Caribbean, has told his people he is building a democratic socialist state. But during last year's elections, that philosophy provoked violence. 100 people were killed. It scared away the American tourist and ruined the country's economy. In a speech yesterday, Castro went out of his way to defend Manley. He said he would never interfere in Jamaica's internal affairs, but at the same time, he painted a rosy picture of communist life in Cuba for his poor Jamaican audience. And he took a slap at the United States. They established economic blockade. Las agresiones militares, military aggressions, y obligaron a nuestro país, and they forced our country, a mucho sacrificio, to a lot of sacrifices. Pero nuestro país, but our country, nuestro pueblo, our people, un pueblo como este que está aquí de nuevo, a people like this one right in front of us, un pueblo como ustedes, a people like you, luchó, fought, y venció, and won. Castro may give the Jamaicans ideas, but he can't give them what they need the most, money to rebuild the tourism industry.